a little while, you won't see me no more. And after a while, you will see me again. Earth will be shaken with their time. Things will get faster. We won't be able to catch up. Grandchildren won't have time for their grandparents. Parents won't have time for their children. Nations will rise against nations. Brothers and sisters against one another. But don't be afraid. Behind the veil are the beginnings of birth pains. You will enter their world and reach them. As we look at the study of history, we can see the rise, the fall of the Roman Empire. We can see the rise and the fall of Napoleon. We can see the rise and the fall of the Third Reich. We can remember the incredible capacity that human beings have to inflict suffering one upon another. One of the remarkable encounters of human history writ large and of the human condition within the body of each individual person is that there will be moments of complete purgation. There will be moments of literally a living hell when society seems to be completely collapsing. Globalization has brought this, this gift of openness to food, this gift of travel, this gift of an expansion of horizons. And on the one hand, it has also, for some people, made a whole culture of feeling left out. And the idea that somehow I'm not measuring up to the celebrity, I'm not measuring up to the, the worth that I think that I have. I think it's a lot of conditioning and a lot of um, uh, telling people that they're, they're nothing if they don't have the latest shoes or they don't have the latest shirt or the latest car, that they have to have this and they have to have that, and that they're a nobody unless they have a bazillion dollars or uh, 50,000 social media followers or they have the latest uh, Kylie lip gloss or whatever it is, that they're nothing. I think we're heading towards some shit is because I can see it happening. I can see people 
there's a segment of people who aren't nice to other people, who aren't good to other people, who aren't uh, willing to help anybody but themselves out. They don't realize we don't live in a vacuum, that every action we have is a reaction and it affects others. that exists in an individual, the more the individual starts to believe that fundamental laws or guidelines or morality don't apply to them. And then, who gets to become the gods? Well, right now it looks like the people who are going to have the most gold. And then what happens to the people that don't have gold? Well, you know, one possibility is we'll have a subspecies of human beings that will literally be pets. But if you're then born into slavery, it becomes the normal, or what we call the imagined order. This is the way it's supposed to be. You submit. I think it's leading that way. I definitely think it's leading that way. I think commodities, yeah, I think that's a good word for what, because whatever you have, they want a package, whether you're an actor, a comic, a, a musician, a painter, whatever, they want to package you in a certain way. It's all about how, many, how they can distribute you, how they can push you out into the world. The three biggest companies in the world right now are companies that whose basic business is what I call surveillance capitalism. How do they make their business? Somehow, they manufacture a product which they then sell to advertisers, right? And the product is you. If the narrative is it's survival of the fittest and we collect only those stories, then that's what we believe. And that's what goes into our consciousness and in our unconsciousness. I think of the fundamentals of, of the king. The king wears a crown. The function of the crown was to catch the mana from the gods, the wisdom, to be the enlightened one and to not serve your own needs. What happens when there is no mana? becoming angrier by the minute, surged down the sidewalk to that intersection, which for two hours would become L.A.'s hell on earth. After sunset tonight, I do expect most of these showers will start to dwindle down. We'll see drier air start to filter back into the region. And with that drier air, clear skies. That's going to set us up for a sunny day as we head into tomorrow. We live in a crazy society because we're um, we're still under the illusion that these things will just the next thing will get me there. The next thing will get me there. And hopefully, after you've had that enough, you realize the next thing won't get you there. Many young people are spurning 
quest to get the stuff. They're not getting automobiles, they're not buying the house, they're not doing that scripted start of life. Pushing toward that edge. And at that edge, they're calling into question all of the assumptions of the good life.